Hey folks, I'm a pioneer uh, history uh, marker right here. This person, uh, Charlie Baker uh, Parkour, was a, uh, actually a woman. I uh, didn't know if she was a woman to her death. Actually, her name, nickname was Charlie, uh, Charlie White Eye. She, I guess she got hit in a horse, a horse hit her in the eye. And, um, and uh, she was a stage coach, a lumberjacker. But uh, she did most of her stage coach in the Rough and Ready and um, Passionville area and around this area too. And uh, pretty much she, she dressed like a man. Everybody thought she was a man. I don't know if she scratched her boys or anything back in this day. Interesting history about her. Um, she was born on the East Coast and somehow wind up in um, over here. Uh, one of the stories of her when she was younger, she dressed like a boy to escape orphanage and their parents sent her to. So, baby, she was the first woman to vote in the U.S. November 3rd, 1968. Wow. Interesting history. But, uh, yeah, she pretty much didn't know she was a man. Uh, didn't know she was a... They thought she was a man for most of her life. She did a good job covering it, you know, some areas. But, um... Interesting. Drove up the stage coach over uh, Mount Monona in early days of the valley. Last ran in San Juan to Santa Cruz. Um, Deft was a cabin near the San Mayo house, where that is. Uh, yeah, her name, her nickname was One Eyed Charlie. A woman, a, and she was a woman, they didn't know about it. Kind of cool. Who knows? I am not going to say about her sexuality or and stuff like that, but she needed to survive. And. She did to survive, so I really don't care about her sexuality, why she dressed like this. I think it's basically in that time. She needed work and she needed to survive and she found a way to survive. Good for her. And um, I hope there's more stories about her. I'll find more stories about these hot people, rape sites and stuff. It's amazing. So, uh, any stories about this? Any wild stories? Let me know, subscribe, and let me know what you think, alright? Bye. Oh yeah, before you want to find her grave size, it's kind of hard. Um, her uh, is behind the cocks, the front side of it. Her tombstone is right behind, right there. Um, it's kind of unique shape to it, so it's not that far from the, from the roads right here. Either right way to uh, locate her um, cemetery is find the gas station right there, Beckel Gas Station. Also, those little plots, those two right here, and the tree. Kind of like she's really, she's buried like one, two, four plots down. Um, kind of ideal. It's like you, you find where the V is right there, and you head towards the Cox thing right here, and her thing is raw right here. So just let you know where it is if you're interested in finding her thing. It's not that far from the entrance. Maybe less than a football, like 50 yards. Maybe less than 50 yards. Yeah, buried that. Just find the once you find the gas station. And you follow the V and kind of look for this to kind of like the way it's shaped the tombstone, you'll find it easily. And it's right next to the other street right here. Right, other entrance. I think it's the third entrance, second entrance, I think. You find like the crest, if you find the crest view drive and the entrance right there and the tombstones, you know, that have there right there, bricks. Boom, boom, boom. It's like uh, find the bricks. One, two, the second street in. Right here, boom near, right next to the cocks. All right, thank you.